Hello learners, my name is Mayur Bhagarwal. Today I am here to have a lecture on shift in demand curve and the absence of supply curve under monopoly. Under this, we are going to study the nature of demand curve under monopoly, relationship between average revenue and marginal revenue, computation of marginal revenue for a given average revenue, and at last we will see the shift of demand curve in relation with elasticity of demand. Before understanding the shift in demand curve, it is important to understand the nature of demand curve under monopoly. As we know, as we know that the demand curve represent a firm under perfect competition is a straight horizontal straight line, but the demand curve faces the whole industry under perfect competition is sloped downward. This is because the demand curve is made by all consumers and the demand curve of total consumers for the product usually do slope downwards. The downward sloping demand curve of the consumer faces the whole competitive industry. An individual firm under perfect competition does not face downward sloping demand curve because, but in the case of monoplastic, one firm constitutes the whole industry. Therefore, the entire demand of the consumer for the product represent by the monopoly firm since the demand curve of the consumer for a product downward sloping that is why monoplast face a downward sloping demand curve as we can see in the this graph when the quantity demanded is og our price is oh suddenly when price is gone down from os to oe uh, op our quantity has been uh, quantity demanded in the market has been increased to om and then when price has been gone to ol our quantity demanded has gone to on this shows that the demand curve is downward sloping now let us see the relationship between average revenue and marginal revenue demand curve facing the monoplast will be average revenue curve thus the average revenue curve of the monoplast slope downward throughout its length since the average revenue curve slope downward marginal revenue curve will lie below it. This follows from usual average marginal relationship. The implication of marginal revenue curve lying below average revenue curve is that the marginal revenue will be less than the price or average revenue. As we can see in the diagram, the marginal revenue is below the average revenue average revenue here we can say that the price of the price in the prevailing market and the marginal revenue is lying below the average revenue now with the help of one schedule we will see the impact of or computation of marginal revenue for a given average revenue the following chart indicates the relationship between average revenue and marginal revenue first column indicate the price of the market second column indicates the quantity demanded third column indicate the total revenue and the fourth column indicates the marginal revenue in the monoplastic form when firm is decreasing its price quantity demanded has been increased with increase in total revenue but the marginal revenue is the difference between the extra unit sale of the quantity because selling one extra unit how much revenue a firm is generating is called marginal revenue the schedule shows that the marginal revenue decrease more dr drastically than average revenue that is why marginal revenue is greater than marginal revenue is lower than average revenue so we can say that the demand curve or average revenue is downward sloping and more output can be produced only when price is reduced. As a result, revenue gen generated from every additional unit that is marginal revenue is less than the price or average revenue of the product. Shift of demand curve. A perfectly competitive firm merely adjusts the quantity of output it has to produce. Price being a given and constant source for the firm or we can say that there is general supply relationship between the price and quantity but the but the monoplast encounters are more 
complicated problem he cannot really adjust quantity at a given price but quantity by a given price because each quantity charged by him will bring about a change in price at which the product can be sold or we can say that monoplast firm is a price taker so monoplast can offer a good at two different prices depending upon the condition of the market that is here the monoplast has two condition it can charge same price for two different quantity or it can charge two different prices for the same quantity so it is totally depending upon the elasticity of the given market which will determine the price or adjust the quantity of the given market that is why there is no perfect supply curve in monopoly so the monoplast take into consideration the elasticity of demand curve while deciding the demand curve or the price of the market let us understand with the help of graph the impact of elasticity on demand curve the upward shift of the market market demand provided that the new demand curve does not intersect the initial one will result in the new market equilibrium in which the quantity produced will be larger and the new equilibrium the price may remain constant while the quantity supplied increases assume that the new demand curve is d2 and to the right of d1 the shift in demand curve will lead to shift in marginal revenue curve from r1 to r2 given the demand curve given the marginal cost curve of the monoplast the new equilibrium position will be e dash where the price is same as before but the quantity produced is large that is ox2 is less than ox1 in this in this case the total revenue of monoplast will increase to op bx2 is greater than op ax1 furthermore this profit will be large because the monoplast short term total cost will decrease over the range between ox x1 and x2 this is so because short term marginal cost curve cuts the short term total cost curve at its minimum point thus at a at the initial equilibrium the monoplast will earn excess profit that is equal to pkca as we can see in the graph his short term total cost must have been above his short term marginal curve and the short term total cost must have been declining since the, since it is impossible for it to start rising before it has been increased by short term marginal cost curve assume that the point of intersect of the short term total cost and the short term marginal cost curve occurs at the level of output that is x3 it is clear that x2 the short term total cost is smaller than at the level x1 hence the total excess profit of the monoplast increase if price remain constant while his demand increases from pk dash mb is greater than pk ca as shown in the figure and in the new equilibrium both the quantity and the price of the monoplast may be greater as compared to the initial equilibrium let us see in the graph if the demand shift to d2 above d1 the new equilibrium is e dash at which the price will be as well as the quantity supplied by the monoplast are greater than the original equilibrium that is e double dash clearly shown that p2 is greater than p1 and ox2 is greater than ox1 in the first figure in the new equilibrium price may be lower than the initial level the quantity is great the quantity is larger as seen in figure 2 if demand shift to d2 the quantity in new equilibrium will be larger that is ox2 is greater than ox1 and it will sold 
at the lower price that is p1 is greater than p2 as seen in as we can see in figure 2 so it is clear it should be clear that the effect of shift in demand de depend upon the extent of shift and on the price elasticity of demand when demand shift its elasticity is changing at any one price if the new demand curve lies above the original and has a subsequent greater elasticity at the original price it may be profitable for the monoplast not only to increase its output but also to sell it at lower price so in last diagram we can clearly show that when elasticity is greater our total revenue is going on increasing up to a point when elasticity is unit here in the diagram the right red point d is showing the unitary elastic demand curve and at this point marginal revenue is at its minimum or zero that point total revenue is at maximum when elasticity is going to be decreases our total revenue also going on decreases so there is no profitable situation for the mono uh, monoplast to produce goods in in elastic market so it is profitable for the uh, monoplast to produce goods in highly elastic demand that's it for today's lecture thank you